my name is Deanna Grace, and I'm also a junior at Endo West High School. So um, this is a picture that we took well, while we were doing a test with the whole class. And, um, this was at the Vietnam Veteran Memorial Park. Um, the, the reason why we tested the water, we tested the water to see how clean it was and is it possible to swim in the water without getting um, sick or disease or any pathogens. Temperature. At 5 degrees Celsius, which is also 41 degrees Fahrenheit, which is good because the colder the water is, the more oxygen it holds and the more oxygen can be released in the water for the fishes to breathe. Dissolved oxygen. That's how much um, oxygen the water can hold. So um, our, our levels were at seven and the, um, the, the standard quality for the water level to be is seven, so we're exactly at the level. Fecal coliform. In fecal coliform, we had about 60 colonies out of 100. Our level indicates that our water was uh, eligible to swim. <laughs> total phosphates. Our total phosphates is um, how much um, how much oxygen can actually be in the water, or how much uh, um, oxygen is absorbed in the water. Ours is at 0, 0.0, and the um, highest is at 0 0.5, 0 0.05 milligrams. So, um, I, and phosphates is how much oxygen is needed for the water. Nitrates. Nitrates means how much fertilizer is in the water. Our water <coughs> says it 2.2, which is good because anything above 10 milligrams or 10 milliliters can cause blue baby syndrome. Blue baby syndrome is a lack of oxygenated blood cells. pH. Our um, pH levels was 9.0, and the normal levels is around 6, six through 8. Um, pH is the amount of um, acid that's in the water, zero being the least um, potent, which means like the level around a batting will give off, and um, 14 being the highest which is around um, like, um, like very bad, 14 is just very bad. Turbidity. <coughs> Our levels came to about 0.15 JTU, which means the Flint River is murkier than normal. Average turbidity levels are around 0.5 and ours came to 15, which could be high due to the demolition of the Hamilton Ridge. So the whole reason we came is to, add, to ask ourselves and to show you guys, is the Flint River safe to swim in? Is the, um, is the water safe to drink? Is, is it safe? And from our test that we took about a month ago, it shows us that our levels are um, in the green zone. And we've been, the levels have been um, going up in the past 10 to 20 years, so. So like, So like we said earlier, it's not the color of the water that makes it dangerous. It's the toxins and chemicals that are inside the water. And next is a, um, next is a news clip, because when we went and tested our water, ABC 12 came out and recorded us and put us on the news. So here goes a news clip. Classroom outside of the classroom. Flint Northwestern students ditching the textbooks today to learn about water testing, specifically the Flint River. So Mark, how are educators hoping this experience will benefit the students? Well, Matt, it's kind of twofold. One, they're hoping to shed some light on students about what an actual career in the sciences would be like. And two, they're hoping to track the water quality of the Flint River to see if it's improving. We will be tracking them, calculating them, and coming up with the one number that indicates the quality of the water. And that number and those other numbers will be uh, recorded in an online database where the higher-ups are going to calculate and take that data even further. 
Now this is all made possible through a program <laughs> called Flint Green, which is actually a national program that gets students out of the classroom to test bodies of water. Think of it as environmental stewards. Their tests include nitrates, phosphates, oxygen, oxygen levels, turbidity, and other pertinent tests. So students essentially do the research according to the data they collect and then come up with solutions that help identify the problem in the first place. Teacher Marianne Koss says she hopes her students will carry the same passion she has for the environment. Knowing that they're part of a bigger community who cares about the Flynn River and who cares about the environment, making sure that they have, and making sure that they're empowered to do something about it. And as mentioned, the program allows students to get a taste of the sciences field. Students then can attend an annual summit that gives them exposure and insight to many different environmental careers. In studio, Mark Bouillon, ABC 12 News.